Hello everybody, Randy J here. You're looking at my panel. I've got the red wires all wired to the bus bar and now I'm in the process of running white wire to the tracks over here. Uh, got some big holes here I'll fill up later but there's a white wire in there the number four track and then I'll continue to wire for the number one and then the five and six I am having an error on the uh, turntable I need to get some contact cleaner and clean it before it's actually going to be back at operation so Anyway, I'll show you more of this as I go along, and uh, it's been quite a tedious thing to do, especially since I'm still hurting from my uh, cracked hip. Yep. The SPSF Cheap 9 gets to sit on the turntable because it's not powered. And I get to push it back and forth to make sure that it doesn't do that and derail. I can line up the tracks and make sure they're perfect and eventually glue them in place. Oh, speaking of gluing in place, hang on, I'll be right back. I just discovered a major kink right here. You can't really see it that well, but this straight, this track is supposed to be straight for an inch and then go around the curve, but it's got a kink here, and I think this track here is misaligned. So I've got to unglue it, spray it with the water, take the tracks up a little bit, straighten them back out, and fix the kink. I've also got a kink right here. This track here is supposed to be two inches from this module before it goes into the curves. So I'll fix that one as well while I'm at that. And I'll go through and look for any more kinks that I might have. I, I think I've got a few. Uh, things pop up like that every, every now and then. You'll notice it. Um, this S curve over here this works pretty good for four axle units so I'm happy with it no. That's uh, the other thing I, I'm going to have to do here in the future. This track here has got to be powered too. Uh, we'll see when I get to it. I'm sure I'm going to have to do a lot of work when I start the beat dump and everything. I'm going to put in another building in here. Get rid of this warehouse. Put another tall building like the white one back there. And uh, it'll look better. Then I'll run some piping. I got the piping, as you know. We'll hook all that stuff up. Glue everything in place once that's done. And uh, I'll get to working on this. The flumes and all the detail work back here. Pop the uh, lift out section. And that's going to be fun. Future, future, future. And. Uh, put the cover, the, the hopper cars back in here for, for loads. Okay, as you can see, I've got to go back to my mess over there. I'll uh, show it to you later on as I get things going. Maybe I'll get the tracks going and maybe I'll get the turntable working. I don't know. Stay tuned, you'll see. See you in a bit. Well, as I'm proceeding with my wiring, 
I made a big boo-boo. I did good with the first wire. I wired number one track to the number one switch. And then I goofed up. Number three was the number two. Number four was the number three. I just had a big old mess. So if you can see the two black uh, heat shrinks on there, those are the mistakes I made. Uh, they're fixed. Five and six are next. Then I get to do the black wires. And then it's done. Okay. We'll see you in a little while. Randy J taking a break. It works. All six tracks are wired. Everything's working fine. You can see the turntable's working fine. I'm happy. Randy J signing off. You guys, I will see you all on the flip side.